you know, when in the ongoing, I don't imagine it's going to be resolved any time soon, the ongoing debate about marriages, that um, the thing I keep trying to remind people is it's about responsibilities and inheritance and visitation mm -hmm. rights and regulations and tax returns. It's not about who's right or wrong or whether it makes somebody comfortable or uncomfortable. It's not about um, any suggestion that any of us exists to satisfy somebody else's mm -hmm. expectations. Mm -hmm. um, good Lord, if I had to live according to other people's approval, I would have, I would never would have survived childhood. Most of us would be in trouble. <laughs> Most of us would be in so much trouble. You know, but getting to that point where it can be like that conversation with the elderly gentleman, mm -hmm. um, where it's just about getting to know someone new and interesting mm -hmm. who's crossed your path. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I don't think, unless you have been a marginalized person in, in whatever situation, I don't know if it's particularly easy to understand the subtle tension uh, that it creates, um, censoring and, and weighing every word you say. Yeah. And suddenly people are asking, well, why are you so nervous? Mm -hmm. Do you really want to know? Yeah. And, or, or not, do you really want to know? Am I, is it safe for me to tell you? Mm -hmm. or right, will that's I, more the accurate question, will, isn't will it? Will I be called into the principal's office, my supervisor's office, will I lose my job? At one time you could lose your apartment. You you know, the landlord could throw yep. you out for being gay or lesbian. Mm -hmm, that's right. Um, a lot of places that's still the case. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, I hear half the population saying, well, that's totally wrong. Nobody would ever do that. To which I would say, could I introduce you to a few... Uh, <laughs> a few hundred. <laughs> <laughs> a few hundred. You, you know, it, it's nice that we're getting to a place where there's more integration and tolerance going on. Mm -hmm. And more understanding, too. I remember more understanding. When, when Amendment 2 was uh, going down. In the early 1990s. Right. Um, a friend of mine's husband, who was an attorney, mm -hmm. he said, oh, you don't have to worry about this. This will never pass. And we had this discussion, which actually turned into a bit of an argument, unfortunately, and uh, about because I really wanted him to get mm -hmm. uh, that, yeah, this could easily pass. And he, he just had no concept of it. And it felt really um, discounting. Mm -hmm. And then when it passed, he was very surprised and just kind of shook his head and said, oh, I can't believe that. Um, but it felt discounting to not have somebody acknowledge his complete lack of awareness that mm -hmm. this could be and indeed was. Well, I also in the early 90s at about that time, I was having a discussion with someone I knew in college who was active in her particular church and wanted us to be quote, friends just like we were in college. And I said, at the moment, conservative Christianity and gay and lesbian people are at each other's throats. Um, or rather, the religious sort is at the throats of gay and lesbian people. I don't know that we've ever really tried to eradicate them, but we certainly wish they'd stay in their churches instead of coming out in our streets. But, um, but they would probably say the same thing. I'm sure they would. They would like us to I, be in. You know, that we need to closets. find a world that's big enough for both of us. Mm -hmm. But the point that bothered me was that she didn't even want to acknowledge or wrestle that there was a conflict. Mm -hmm. Right. And I would say, no, this is, you know, like um, Sean Penn's uh, in the movie about Harvey Milk. Mm -hmm. You know, this is not just an issue. This is our lives. Right. Um, this is my ability to have relationships, mm -hmm. to have food, clothing, and shelter. Mm -hmm. This is... That protection for my family, protection in illness, for my family. in, in health care, when I'm gone, all of that. If memory serves me correctly, and I'm just going off of memory here, and that was, granted, it was 15 years ago now, when the whole Amendment 2 fuss happened in Colorado, mm -hmm. uh, 15 years ago at the time of this videotaping. And I think it's a timeless issue in that it's, Anything that passes by law can be repealed or vice versa. Uh, I mean, we could make a gay civil rights law and it can be repealed, or it can make a homophobic law and it be repealed. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you're dealing at the governmental level, things can flip-flop overnight. That's what happened with Proposition 8. The whole business of coming mm -hmm. out is that you're dealing with the change at a grassroots level. Mm -hmm. And when you change it at a grassroots level, 
it doesn't really matter what they do on a governmental level because people won't live up to it if they don't believe it. Mm -hmm. If you're living in a place that's accepting, they can pass whatever restrictive law they want and everyone at the grassroots level will go, oh brother, mm -hmm. you think I'm going to do that? Mm -hmm. Of course not. You know, this is somebody I know, I would never treat them that mm -hmm. way. Which is where the coming out to me is, is still the more effective approach. You know, which is interesting in the movie about Harvey Milk, that coming out is what he chose to do as, mm -hmm. as his strategy, yeah. instead of playing politics. Right. What I'm remembering from the time that Amendment 2 passed due to bizarre, misleading media campaigns. And wording. Very and confusing wording. wording. Very confusing wording. Uh, it was just such a, a mess, but it was a deliberate deception. Yeah, and a friend of mine's grandmother, she, uh, she was a lesbian, mm -hmm. and she'd been talking to her grandmother about this, and her grandmother was like, oh, I'm really, I'm going to vote, you know, just the way you want to, and then not want me to, because I believe in your rights. And after the election, she called up, she goes, okay, so I, I voted uh, no on amendment, or yes on amendment two, and that was the right thing, right? And she no. And it's like she read the wording, and she got stuck on the wording, mm -hmm. and uh, she was very disappointed that she had voted against her granddaughter. But the thing that sticks in my mind is the uh, subconscious or, or indirect message that it sends when something like that happens. Um, when you devalue any people group in that way, it's as if you're sending a message out through society that it's okay to harass, mm -hmm. intimidate, whatever, mm -hmm. oppress these people. Mm -hmm. No one ever said that. But that understanding suddenly went out like ripples through the pond. It's like implicit. From the time that Amendment 2 passed until the time the injunction was granted in January saying the law will not go into mm -hmm. effect, during those, what, four, about six or seven weeks, um, if memory serves me correctly, six gay men were brutally murdered. Mm -hmm brutally murdered. I mean, not just shot. They were they were hacked. They were stabbed multiple times. I mean, it was just brutally. Mm -hmm. And none of those made the headlines of the local paper. Mm -hmm. What did make the headlines of the local paper in early January was that the police were meeting with local leaders of the gay and lesbian population to assure them that there was not a serial killer on the loose. Mm -hmm. That meeting made the front lines. Mm -hmm. None of the murders did. Mm -hmm. That's appalling. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely appalling. Yeah. And it stopped as soon as the injunction was granted. Mm. I wasn't aware of that. Um, and the only place you could find out about them was through the local gay press, mm -hmm. because it wasn't reported anywhere mm -hmm. else. Yeah. Um, that's appalling. Yeah, when you, you, know, when that you sanction uh, discrimination, yeah. the people that would uh, have those kind of beliefs, feel permission to come out of their own closet and, uh, mm -hmm. and do some horrendous things.